Hey guys, uh, this is going to be my first tutorial here on YouTube. I'm going to be doing it based on the Mac Ace of Hearts face chart from the 2009 Halloween edition. Uh, I'm going to start by covering my brows with the glue stick method. Uh, Petri Lude and Blanche Batplock have amazing tutorials on this. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started and I'll put a link in the sidebar so you can actually see how I do this, alright? Okay guys, I'm back. So what I'm going to do now, after I've already covered my brows, is I'm actually going to start by doing the card on my face. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take Fascinating Eye Call from Mac, and I'm just going to create the outline of the card. I actually don't have a real card to use, so I'm using something similar to shape. So I'm just going to like place the card uh, where I actually want it, and I'm just going to trace the outline of it uh, with the Fascinating. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So that way I can kind of just get the basic shape of what I really, really want for the card. It doesn't necessarily have to be perfect, because you're going to go back over it anyway with a, a black liner just to give a little bit of shape, you know? So now that we kind of have the shape on so you can actually see what it looks like, it's kind of like this. That's a little messy, but we'll clean up the edges in a little bit. So then what we're going to do is I'm going to go in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk, and I'm just going to fill that in, and I'm just going to blend it all out. You really don't need a lot, because once you put it on your eye, like on your uh, eyelid area, don't use a lot because it will crease on that area and you really don't want that. So just dot a few things here and there and then blend it out with a synthetic fiber brush. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll show you guys what that looks like. So I'm just going to lightly start to blend out that milk pencil with just a synthetic fiber brush. I'm just going to really just kind of get it in there and just try and cover as much of the area as you can. It doesn't necessarily have to be perfect because you're going to go over it with a white shadow to really set the color and really bring out the white. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's just kind of blending it all out. Okay? So we're going to work all that out. So. Right, now that we've done that and we've blended out the white, as you can see, I'm going to go in with a matte white shadow. I'm going to use MAC Gesso, which is right here in my palette. So, And I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to take a 252 brush and I'm just going to kind of just pat it on there and just really kind of try and set that shadow. It'll bring out the color as much as possible. So I'm just going to go in and set that color. Just pick up as much product as you think you're going to need. So a little bit will go a long way. So, I mean, even though it's white, it doesn't seem like it's coming out a lot. It's really going to pick it up. I don't know if my camera is picking it up that well, but it's actually making uh, it stand out a lot brighter. I want to pack it all on. Once you finish setting this, you'll see the difference on everything. So I'm just going to go in and finish doing that, okay? Now that I've gone and done and set the powder, uh, the liner with the white powder, I'm going to go in with the angled brush, my MAC 266 with Max Black Track Fluid Line, and I'm going to give the card an outline, so I'm just going to go ahead and start doing that right now. And just try and take your time with this, so you can try and just get your lines as straight as possible. What are you doing in here? I told you I was going to be seeing more of you, right? Look, I came in with you. You keep disrespecting me, and it's going to be rough around here. <coughs> so I'm going to go ahead and finish doing this, and then I'll come back. All right, guys? Okay, so I finished lining everything with my 266 brush, and I just kind of went in and did the outline of the basic card. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, because like I said, it's the card, and it's just makeup, and if you mess up, it's just makeup, you can take it off and do it again. But uh, what I'm going to go in now and do is I'm actually going to start and draw the heart. I'm actually going to take MAC uh, Lip Liner in red, and I'm just going to sketch out my heart, and I'm going to fill it in. So, this is what I'm going to do right now. I'm sorry, you can't really see this, so... Okay, so what I went in and did now is I actually just finished uh, drawing in, I drew in the A's, 
and I drew in both the small hearts, as you can see. I filled in two of them. This one, actually, I just added a Franco Scarlet uh, red blush to it, and this one, I have, the smaller ones, I haven't filled in yet, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in the smaller ones, so you can actually just see that real quick. So I'm just going to go in with the Franco Scarlet and just kind of pack it on, but be careful because you don't want to mess up the outline you've already done with that red lip liner. So really, really be careful. So, like I said, it's just makeup. If you do make a mistake, you can just go back in with your NYX white pencil or whatever white eyeliner you're going to use and uh, fix your shape. So, as you can see, my shape is a little funky on this heart, so I'm just going to go a little bit higher with this red so I can really make that heart. So, it actually looks like a heart now. So, I'm going to go ahead and fill in this other one. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm actually going to go ahead and get started on this eye. That way I can actually go in. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it like a really dark black smoky eye. And I'm kind of going to define the upper area where the brow should have been. So you really get a good shape there. Alright, so now I'm going to take my fluffy brush, which is my MAC 217. And I'm just going to take a brown from my 88 palette. And really kind of define the crease and contour down my nose a little bit. Just to give a little more of a shape. So I'm just going to go in with, let's say... Mm. This brown right, brown right here, and that way we can actually just fix that. So I'm just going to tap off the excess, and I'm just going to kind of go in right here, right where the brow would have been, and go in and kind of just darken that up a little bit. Just really trying to find that area. I don't know if the camera's picking it up and really kind of darkening it up. This is his FBI partner, the only guy smart enough so to I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of blend it out. Who doesn't see much of her husband because he's always dealing with this guy. Really, really trying to define that socket and create that shadow. So it really gives you that kind of sunken in look. So just like that, I guess the camera picks it up pretty well. So done that, I'm just going to go in with uh, a black shadow. I'm going to use, I believe this is, let's see, I believe this is Night. Yeah, it's uh, Night Divine is what I'm going to use. And I'm going to use a little bit of Electra 2 to smoke it out. I'm going to go ahead and pick up, what is this, my 213 from that. And I'm just going to kind of put that all over the lid. It's the wearing away of enamel well, on our teeth. Many of us have I just kind of go up to the crease, but not really above it yet. So we're going to just kind of define this right here. We're also going to do some false lashes. I'm going to use max number 7. So. so I went in, and I kind of smoked that out a little bit. I don't know if my camera is really picking that up, so I'll try and come in a little closer so you can see that. So I just really kind of smoked it out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take that Night Divine. And I'm going to put it just in the corners to kind of give it a little more dimension. So it's kind of like a shimmery blackish gray color. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go back in with uh, my 213 brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that right in the corners. Okay, so I went ahead and put in the false lashes. I, used, I put them on the top and the bottom. So I don't know if you can really see it really well on my camera. I'm going to go ahead and do the lips. I'm going to take... Um, Max uh, D squared uh, lip erase and dim. I'm actually gonna go back in and I'm gonna draw a heart. Now, see, I've got that heart shape on. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it in, and then I'm gonna apply Max lipstick and Ruby Woo over it. So you can see I kind of messed up a little bit right here. But what I'm gonna do with that? So I'm just gonna go in with that concealer, and I'm gonna clean up those edges. So I'm gonna go back in with my 194. I'm going to use my MAC concealer, it's actually NW25. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to clean up my edges. And that is it guys, that is the finished look. So as you can see, I'm sorry about the lighting, but let me get you a close about this eye. So you can really get a look at it. So I just need to wash on the top and bottom. And that is it. That is the Mac face chart for 2009, the Ace of Hearts. I kind of call it the poker face. So, um, thanks guys. This is my first tutorial. Hope you guys liked it. Bye.